Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Caloris to Carol Besso, and you are beautiful 16. I started off with IMK's PLEs, and here is Besso by Caloris to Carol. Oh, this is perfection in a bottle. This berry color is life today. I put this on my nails, and I got happy happy all over I mean it's just so pretty the formula is amazing on these I do realize I've been using quite a few of these Caloristy Carol polishes and that's because I got an order in <laughs> so here I'm going in with my second coat it could have been a one coat wonder if I had done it a little thicker but you know I don't do it that way I do the thinner coats um, but like I was saying I did place my very first order with Caloristy Carol, and I got 10 polishes, so I'm blowing y'all up with them. I am going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat real quick. Look at that. Oh, that light hits it and it just shimmers and shines for days. Oh, lovely. I'm going to cap my free edge here. And then I'll be using You Are Beautiful 16 as well as my Conad Stamper, my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. I've got Shut Out by Brave Steva to stamp with today. Here we go, we're just gonna get into the stamping. So this is what I call the snowflake plate. It's got a whole bunch of different images of snowflakes and I was just in the mood. Before, you know, winter's totally gone, I wanted to, you know, get some more snowflake manis in. I am cleaning that plate with pure acetone. Always clean off my stamper on a lint roller. And I'm going to do that image on my thumb and my ring fingernail. And I'm going to do different images on the other nails. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see because I can sit down and start playing and you just never know what's going to happen. I really love that. So I'm out of frame as far as the scraping and painting and stuff on the plate but hopefully I'll be able to stay in frame with the actual getting it on my nails. I had to grab a piece of tape real quick to get up this excess of the images that I don't want. And I'm going to plant that one hopefully in the center of my nail. Might be a little wonky but the nail's wonky so it's kind of hard to tell. And then here we go with some more. Now this one is a big snowflake image and I knew that my nail couldn't take all of it. So I am going to just do part of it coming from the tip of the nail up onto the nail. And I really like that look. Very much in love with it. And then one more. Do, do part of this one. Because I didn't want to cover up all of that polish. I still want to be able to see some of it. I'm trying to get, you know, get some enjoyment out of the base color too. Getting all that excess up off the stamper. Here we go. We're going to go from this top corner and just voila. Alrighty, so I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and get up some of this excess polish off of my skin. This is really nice, easy cleanup. Ta-da! And then I'm going to go in with some acetone and just fine tune this a little bit. Oh, so happy with this. I am going to top all of this with some smudge free top coat from Maniology. That's just such a pretty base color. I'm loving these. So I'm going to now top it with the posh top coat now that that's dry. And this one will be finished. And I'll be able to admire it some. <laughs> so I really did enjoy this one. But like I said, I'm just to eat up with these polishes that I got. I didn't do a haul video on them. I figured, you know, this wasn't like a new collection or anything. So I'm just jumping in and playing with them. So here is my manicure in motion. I will have a swatch photo coming up here soon. 
But I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. And that is it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.